police car. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Okay, this is Gamer Believe, and we're back with Deadly Premonition. And if you watched the last video, you know I was struggling with a couple of glitches that the game was throwing at me. And um, hopefully we've got it sorted out now. Um, I am running it in compatibility mode at uh, the suggestion of one of my viewers. So, um, well, hopefully we get somewhere this time. Hopefully we can get somewhere. The master key and a flare. Okay, so it's 10.06 and I've gotta go that away. So, now the last time I tried, the last time I tried to look at the map, which I think is what I really need to do in order to figure out where the heck I need to go, I need to go here. And I am currently, what, here? So I probably need to get out on this road and then turn an immediate right, and then take my first left, and then head into town. That's what it seems like I need to do. Um, now, before it crashed, geez, <laughs> mentioned crashing. Uh, before it crashed on me the last time I was playing, and that footage is not, um, okay, so I think I need to take was it my first left? And I can activate my signal. Whoa! I think I nearly flipped the car there. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there. Just trying to find a good movie to rent. Whoa. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really whoa, bad ones whoa. after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? Filmed in 1978. Oh, I saw that movie. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful. Um, okay, hang on a second. I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute-long theatrical release bumped up to Whoa. a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. That is probably accurate. Okay, well, okay. Need to, need to park it. Need to park it in here. Okay, success! That was further than I got last time, so things are looking up. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? Well, the hotel was also very impressive. Something is odd about this town. Country ham. Oh, now I'm kind of hungry. <sighs> uh, uh. 
Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. He has a way Agent about him. Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe the you Woodman a doesn't call me my that. Belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no, just doing my job. I just, well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but... I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. It's no problem. It's I have the master key. key. Kind and sensitive type. Totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Because uh, I don't want to have to try to do that driving thing again. Something tells me I'm not going to enjoy the driving parts of this game. I'm just guessing. Looks like the door wasn't locked. Well, let's take a peek. Um, here we go. Ooh, check the weather. Observe. Uh, our favorite cartoon isn't running. Let me check the weather. Rain until the afternoon. We should have some coffee until it stops. Oh, we got some cash for checking the weather. It's pretty sweet. I wish it worked that way. If I could get paid for watching TV... Well, if I get paid for playing video games or watching TV, this person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. Okay. Wait, so a fire exit. Okay. Probably should have read that first. I'm just pressing observe all willy-nilly. The office room. Um, I guess I can go in there. I'll take a, take a peek in there. Why not? We'll leave no stone, no stone, I can't speak. No stone unturned in deadly premonition. Emily. Hmm. Oh, she actually does call me York. Unlike the Woodman. Most women are prone to cold. Uh, what? Okay, there we go. Talk. Hi. Could you perhaps show me around the office before the meeting starts? I don't think that's a good idea. He lost the key to the cabinet with the files and asked me to take a look around the office until he finds it. Okay, well, I hope it doesn't take too long either. Probably get some. Okay. Alright. Do 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 do. Looks like the door wasn't locked. Okay. Number four, George. Whoa. Zach, look at this. Oh, now this is something special. It's the epitome of the old frontier sheriff's office. It's perfect. A stuffed deer's head on the wall. A 
flag, a hunting rifle. A hunting rifle. Amazing. You'd never see a hunting rifle on the wall of a police department in the city. That's just amazing. Wonder if the sheriff would ever let me shoot it. Probably not. Maybe I could just take it off the wall and bop off a couple of rounds before anyone grabbed me. Yep, just George bust off a couple of squats. Of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise. <clears throat> but I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will you? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. Old Schwarzenegger and Stallone. I'm sure. I'm sure that's who he was referring to. View list. What am I doing? I have no idea what just happened. Literally no idea what just happened. Um. Okay. Um. One of these dudes, Arnold? Are you Arnold? Okay, so... Uh, I guess I'm just going to walk around the, um, the precinct here looking for Arnold and or Sylvester. We have a thrilling soundtrack here. Bum, 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 this could help with the outworkage. Zach, we found Arnold. Oh. Let's get him back to George. I guess it's a cute name for a dumbbell. I would never have guessed that. That's why I'm not an FBI investigator slash profiler. Boom, 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 gray squirrel keys. Yep, probably going to need those. And turkeys. <laughs> yeah. It seems kind of mean, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that. Dibs. Freaking dibs on that. I'm assuming, um, you know, video game reality will uh, set in and uh, no one's actually going to be mad about that. Kind of like how you can walk into people's houses and in role playing games and just rifle through their stuff and they just don't care about it. Long tailed flying squirrel keys. Let's take those two. I'm just going to take all of the keys. Literally all of the keys that I can find. I don't I don't need to change clothes here. I think the clothes that I have will suffice. Um does not appear. Okay. And just let me make sure that that's the case here. So, open. Definitely not seeing anything in there. I just really think that there should be some kind of soundtrack. What is going on with all these keys here? Oh. 
Squirrel tail keys. Collect the whole set. A raincoat? Doesn't look like it's been used much, even though it rains here pretty often. What waste of nice fabric, eh, Zach? Hmm. Don't, don't, do don't, boom. Huh. Most interesting. Okay. I think we have exhausted everything we need to uh, find in there. The material room. Now, it looks like that's where we have to go to kind of advance. Since it's got the red stuff there. So let's, um, let's kind of look around not there first. I mean, that's what I'm assuming I'm supposed to do is not go there first. Of course, I could be wrong. The basement might not be the wisest place to be. I'm looking for Sylvester. Oh man, we can bust off a couple of rounds here. Oh, some more squirrel keys. Well, um, hmm. Let's see, can I, let's, um, let's bust out the knife here and, uh, see if we can bust these boxes open. Well, what do we got here? 10 millimeter ammo bullets. Sweet. Excellent find. Well, we are not finding Sylvester. Or was I just supposed to find Arnold? I'm not sure. I don't pay very good attention. Nothing to do with the investigation. Yeah, I'm just gonna catch some rack time in here. Nothing like an 8 by 10 cell. Yep. Okay. Um, let's see if there's anything. Oh, well, here we go. Rewarded with by exploration. More squirrel keys. Okay. So if you're playing this, definitely run around here. Um, well, I mean, assuming squirrel keys are something you actually want, maybe I'm going to find someone here in a minute who's like, I would have let you go, or I would have let you live if you didn't have all these freaking squirrel keys on you. But since you do, I'm going to kill you, and you've lost the game. Okay, I can't talk to this guy. That's no, that's no good. Um. Well, I feel as if I've I've done a fairly thorough job. Um. Of uh. Of um. You know, going through this place. Oh, well, never mind. There's this uh, box right here that I did not destroy. I should annihilate it. Post haste. And there's nothing in it. Unequip. I don't want to alarm anyone in this police station. And I'm not going to go in there yet, once again, because I... Wait, did I go into the kitchen? Pretty sure I went in here. 
Like 97%. Yeah, I went in here. This is where I got that sandwich. This is where I stole that poor person's lunch. Not poor as in financially. I mean poor as in uh, that, that unfortunate because I took their sandwich. Because uh, I would... Uh, I would not be happy if someone took my sandwich. Totally my sandwich. Okay. Um. Used for working out the muscles. Here you go, buddy. George, I found Arnold. Really? He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Huh? Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Okay. So that makes us even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. Just bear that in mind. Zack, he needs some friends who aren't so dumb. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Lost Arnold. And I got 200 cash bucks. And 14 extra cash bucks. Excellent. All right, time to go and talk with Thomas. Now, I've found like 50 billion keys, so if he hasn't found the keys, then maybe one of these keys is the right key. And I'm going to go ahead and save it in case, heaven forbid, something terrible happens. I don't have to go through all that rigmarole again. Whoa, got several things we can interact with in here, it looks like. Going to go ahead and, whoa, automatically sliding storage, quite modern for a small town archive room. Oh, okay, it's the same thing. All right, Thomas. Um... The key belongs to the sheriff's office. Well, you found the key. I think so. Is this it? Probably not. Ah, uh, you don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. A southern one. Okay, I didn't, I, I evidently, I did not pay any attention when um, he said that before. So, as I said, okay, striped squirrel, gray squirrel, curvy, flying, what the heck? Wait, did I not find it? Gray squirrel. Wait now, okay, so it's not going to say like southern, I, I didn't listen to the, as I just said, I didn't listen, 
I didn't listen to the details of uh, what, uh, which one, uh, or, or of him describe um, the actual squirrel. I figured it would just say, you know, southern squirrel on there. So you found the key. Probably not. That's the right one. Probably not. No. Yes. Oh. A southern flying squirrel. How about that? Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here and we've cracked a big case already. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the a That was my dream, too. Town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. Mm. That's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. Please, don't this make me drive. A small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. I'm gonna try not to slow them down. Although in all probability, I'm going to, because uh, I am not very detail-oriented. And, um... Well, this seems to be, a, you know, an investigation here, so I might not be fitted to this, but we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and save. And uh, that does look like a pretty convenient place to uh, cut it for this video. So, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll pick up right here next time.